Halo Infinite's coating system is undeniably one of the most controversial features in the game. In every Halo game prior, we were able to choose our own colours, but now we're restricted. But in today's video, I don't want to talk about the system or my thoughts on it. I'd much rather talk about some of the really cool coatings that have been leaked for the game. Thanks to both of the Halo Infinite news site and the Silex guide, we've been able to take a quick look at a lot of these leaked coatings. And in today's video, this is of course what I'm going to go over. So how's it going Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. We're going to start by going through the Mark 7, as it's the default core and the one that everyone definitely has. There is quite a lot here, and the Mark 7 definitely has the most out of every core in terms of coatings coming out. The first one we'll take a look at is the Balaton Fields coating. Now, interestingly about this one, this is actually the same coating as the default one for the Rick Chassis and Eagle Strike core. This will be coming out for every armor core, including the Mark 5B and the Yoroi core. And for both, for all four of the other cores, it shares the same name. I believe it's Sandgrass Fields. But for the Mark 7, it's been renamed. Now, hopefully this doesn't mean that you will be charged separately for it, because I think that would be very predatory and very scummy if 343 tried to charge you for a coating that was free on the other cores. Uh, but it does seem like this is going to be one of the first coatings to be completely cross-core. Next up, we've got the Blue Mojo coating. It's a nice blue and red coating. I actually really like how this one looks, and I might even use this one when it comes out in-game. It gives me Spider-Man Optimus Prime kind of vibes. Then we have the Citroen White coating. We know this will be in an upcoming event. I believe it is the Yappening event. It's a lime green coating with white arms and black details on it. And again, I actually really like this one. It's quite bright and vibrant, but it looks nice. Next up, we have the Gladiator's Edge coating, which is one of the most unique ones we've seen yet. I think this one might be coming out for all cores, and it's like a chrome diamond texture. I believe this has something to do with the Halo Championship stuff. I could be wrong, uh, but it looks phenomenal, and I can't wait to see this in-game and see how this looks with my armor. It's supposed to be an epic one, and as far as lore goes, it just says skills to pay the bills. It's supposed to be releasing this season, but we don't really have any idea how we'll acquire this one yet. It's entirely possible it will be a shot one, but as far as I'm aware, it has something to do with Halo Championship, or maybe even ranked. Quick side note, as of editing this video, you can now acquire the Gladiator's Edge Sidekick coating, which shares the same texture and overall design. You get this by watching the current running Halo Championship stream. So I think it's safe to say that the armor coating should hopefully be available through a similar method in the future. Next up we have the Grey Growth coating. This one isn't really that special, it kind of looks like a, dull, a duller version of the Halo Championship launch one, the sort of green and goldish one. It just looks like a dull version of that and I'm not really that bothered. We also have the Cowlin Strand coating, this orange and white one. Again, a bit of an underwhelming one, nothing too special to say about this one. Then we have the Mystic Merengue, Merengue? <laughs> probably pronouncing that wrong. It's this sort of candy looking coating. I believe this is supposed to release during Easter. I think 343 were planning on doing a free Easter event. And this is supposed to come with the bunny ears armor effect and maybe some other items. The bundle in its entirety has been leaked. So I'll show a photo of that on screen now. Uh, but this coating, you know, it's quite a bright one. Not one that I'd ever use, but hey, some people might like it. Next up, we have the opulent bronze one. This has also uh, been leaked in a bundle. It's the shiny bronze one with like bright neon cyan details. I think this is the one that comes with the flower petal armor effect. Uh, it, it's definitely an interesting one. It's a bit better than the other Easter looking one. Um, but I'm curious to see when these will release and how much they're going to be. We have the power loader one too. This one isn't super interesting. It's quite a dull one with little orange details. The lore for this one just says moving crates to save the human race, which is a... Uh, you know, that's something. It's entirely possible this might be based off the alien power loaders, but I feel like this should have just been included with the forklift weapon charm. This next one is one that was leaked a good while ago, and that's the Powered Dreams coating. It's another sort of grey blackish one, and I do kind of like how this looks. I know a lot of people are sick of the amount of grey ones we've got, but I do like this, and the lore says next generation power. As far as I'm aware, I believe this was supposed to be something for people that have an Xbox Series X or a Series S, like as if they would get a free coating for playing on next gen consoles, Either that or it was supposed to be an ultimate reward coating. However, as of right now, we literally have no idea how you acquire this. It was leaked during mid-season 1 and we've still yet to really see anything or hear anything about it. So I'm curious to know how this one will be acquired or if it ever will come out. It is just a sort of 
dirtier version of Shadow Sorrel, so maybe 343 have just scrapped the idea of adding it, although I could be wrong. We're down to the last two leaked coatings for the Mark 7. We have the Smoky Ghost one. I believe this bundle has also been leaked as well, but as far as I'm right, it just looks like you get a stancer coating and a visor. There might be more with it, um, but this one, you know, it's fine. It's another asymmetrical one. It looks interesting and off the colours, you know, it's white, orange, and uh, it's, got, it's got an orange undersuit, and it's white and black. It's decent. And then you also have the Undertow Husk one. Now, this looks like it might be the 343 exclusive coating, I think, although it has the glitter effective OPI, so it might actually be a different one entirely, but it has a very similar colour scheme. Either way, this one definitely looks very unique, and I'm intrigued to see how this will be added. As far as the Mark V B goes, there's only three leaked coatings, which is unfortunate, but all three of these look pretty decent. There's the Noble Drifter coating, which is made up of a variety of colours, being orange, red, green, and it has this sort of camo pattern on it. I like how this one looks, it looks quite tactical, like a camouflage one, uh, so this might be one that I actually end up using once it is added. There's also the Noble Offensive one, which again is made up of a variety of colours. I believe both of these might be based off of some Halo Reach concept art, based off of, it might have been Noble 6 concept art for reach or for some noble team members i could be wrong but both of these are nice coatings and i'm looking forward to these get added it's nice to have some new content for the mark 5b core it's just a matter of how long we've got to wait for them and then finally we have the sandgrass fields one which i've already mentioned it is the default one for the rick chassis and the eagle strike core that looks like it's going to be the first coating to be completely cross core Moving over to the Yoroi core, there is only two leaked coatings. There is one that I believe was supposed to get added to the game as a part of a bundle. That's not viewable in the files and I can't seem to see it on here anywhere either. It was a very simple sort of greenish coating. It was supposed to release in a bundle that was just never released. Uh, but the ones that are on here, we have the Ambitious Intruder coating, which is this nice purple coating. And I really like the way this looks. It's it's quite, it almost looks like royalty. It's got little gold details and it's mostly made up of a purple color. And we also have the Sandgrass Fields coating. So not loads coming out for the Yoroi, but that's to be expected. Rikshasa being the newest story core actually has quite a few coatings that have been leaked. First of all, we've got the Epsilon Spring one, which is another camouflage looking coating. I like this one, looks very tactical, definitely one that I'll probably use, it's a nice woodland camo. Next up we have the Faded Jade coating, which is a blue and green one that very much stands out. It reminds me of sort of the ocean, it's got those oceanic looking colours. After that, we've got Gladiator's Edge again. I know I said earlier on that I believe this is coming out for all cores, but it doesn't seem to show it for the Mark V or the Yoroi, so maybe it's just the Mark VII and Rick Chassis. It might be coming out on Eagle Strike too, but I'm not entirely sure. After that, we have Raven's Smoke. This, I believe, is the one that is coming with the Locust Bundle. This will be the coating included with that armor set. It's decent enough. It's quite dark colors, but I do kind of like it. We have the Tawny Priory coating coming out too. This one is orange and white. I don't know why, but it reminds me of shrimps. And then last we have the Zandadu Farlu coating. I might have pronounced that wrong. This is a very weird one made up again of a variety of colors. It's another asymmetrical coating. It's got bits of orange, red, white, gray, a little bit of everything on there. Uh, it's a decent one, definitely stands out, although I can't lie, I'm not that bothered about this one. Last but certainly not least, we have the Eagle Strike Core. There's quite a few coming out for this. It might actually be more than the Rick Shasta one, which, if true, is very interesting. However, these are just what have been leaked so far, so this might change it within a couple of weeks. First of all, we have the Black Sands one. This one's very simple, a very dark coating. It looks decent enough. There's also the Frontier Outrider one, another one that's sort of made up of a grey colour with a little bit of green on there. Again, it's decent, but it doesn't stand out too much. We also have Gladiator's Edge, as I mentioned, so this one is on the, the Eagle Strike Core 2. And I'll be honest, I think it actually looks a bit nicer here. It's got less of the diamond pattern and more of the chromish colour. Uh, and it actually really reminds me of Iron Man's Mark 1 armour. We also have the Grim Fortress one, which is an entirely chrome one. So it, it's interesting if uh, if the Gladiator's Edge is unlocked in like a special way or and if this one just added on the shop. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Halo Twitter has to say about that. This one does have a couple of little blue details on it, but other than that, it's made up of mostly a chrome material and it looks pretty sweet. After that, we have the Halite Storm coating, which is a coating that's made up of a variety of blues. It looks decent enough. It also has those sort of watercolors going on. 
Then we have the Nevergreen Oil one, another pretty dull coating, not one that stands out too much, it's not very interesting. We also have the Outback Storm coating, which is like a creamish colour with little orange details. We also have the Sherman Oaks one, which is another pretty boring one, of uh, being like sort of a greenish greyish colour. And then last we have the Unremembered Defiance coating, which is made up of cyan and yellow colours. This is probably one of the better looking ones. A lot of the Eagle Strat ones that are coming out look very uninteresting, they're very boring colours. Um, which is fine. However, I do want to see some more interesting coatings. I want to see a variety of different color schemes as right now with a lot of the coatings A lot of them are very similar But unremembered defiance definitely stands out and the colors definitely pop on this one But with that that's all of the leaked armor coatings Some of these look awesome and I'm very excited to finally see them in game Although it is unfortunate that a lot of these will be a part of the shop there is a few interesting coatings that I haven't mentioned in this video that were leaked recently, however, are now visible in the menu. And a lot of those look really nice, so you should go and have a look at them. Hopefully some of these coatings might be ultimate rewards, or if they are added on the shop, fingers crossed they're of a fair price. Maybe if we're lucky, some of them will be Halo Championship ones, so we can just sit there, watch a stream for three hours and get some snazzy drip. But anyway, let me know which coating you're most excited to see in-game, or how you feel about the coating system overall. Personally, I really don't like the system, I've made that abundantly clear, but I think there's ways in future that 343 could drastically improve it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Let me know what leaks you'd like me to cover next. Would you like me to cover armor pieces, weapon coatings, vehicle coatings, etc. Maybe visors. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.